Hello dear viewers, my name is Nino and you're watching Nino's product reviews and today we're going to take a closer look at the Creve Mark V Prime smartphone. Now this is yet another Chinese smartphone being offered here and it is a very interesting device for several reasons. Uh, the main one being that it is very very cheap. I got this for 99 euros so this is very cheap as I've said and I'll tell you what's inside this box and more <laughs> in terms of uh, hardware. So we have a Android 5.1 OS in there. The CPU is an MTK6735 which is a Cortex A53 quad core. Uh, four cores, each of them 1.3 GHz, 64-bit. Now this isn't the strongest CPU, but it will do considering the price. Then we have a GPU in there, the Mali 720, which is absolutely okay. Uh, we have one gigabyte of RAM, not very much really, but in most cases it should be absolutely sufficient here considering the rest of the hardware. The ROM is an 8 gigabyte, and that is definitely not enough because uh, most of it is actually taken up by the Android system and whatever is pre-installed on this phone, which by the way is pretty much nothing. I uh, failed to see any specific bloatware. I think there was one application in there, but I've actually found it uh, useful. It's an office suit application. Now, the display of this device is 5 inch uh, flat, it's an IPS capacitive device, uh, IPS capacitive screen, sorry, uh, with a native resolution of uh, 1280 by 720 p so we have 720p in there. Multi-touch of course, and very important multi-touch with up to 5 touches simultaneously. And why am I saying very important, if you guys remember my previous review of uh, the Umi Roam, that one had 2 touches only and that, that's just a mess if you try to type. Now the battery that we can see here is a 2400 milliampere battery and I cannot praise this battery enough. I've had it for 2 weeks now and the phone actually always lasts easily a whole day. Now on the second day when I wake up I still have about 35-40% to 40 battery which is just impressive considering that I've been using this, uh, this phone pretty, I've been using it as my daily driver and uh, I've been using it fairly intensively on several days. Now the front camera is a 5 megapixel camera, the back one is an 8 megapixel. As we can see here the phone itself is actually quite pretty. I have the white color here, I found it very nice. We have the microphone at the bottom. On the right side we have the volume rocker and the power button. Now that's perhaps not the best placement but they're distinctive enough for you to be able to tell them apart. Now here we have the speaker in the back which is also not the best option but you know better than nothing. And the camera itself. Now the camera as you can see is very flat and that's something I really like. Uh, that's something that people should really do. Just fill up the phone with battery, make it thicker if need be. It doesn't need to be the slimmest as long as the camera is not popping out of the phone. I really hate that. I want to run my hand on the back of it and not feel anything that's, uh, that just feels out of place because it's too much. Now what we have here is the back of the phone, I'm intentionally going to open it here and uh, we see the battery and the two SIM cards. Now as you can see we also have a micro SD card slot and that one's very important because as I've mentioned before uh, this device does not offer a lot of space when you buy it right off the bat. So you're going to need to use a micro SD card and the micro SD card you will use can be up to 32 gigabytes. Now I have not tried a 64 gigs one but I have heard other people say that this works. Uh, we have two SIM cards you can see I've mentioned this several times. One of them is a normal size, the other is a micro size SIM card. They work uh, simultaneously in standby, pretty standard stuff. Nothing to get too excited about. But you know, it's good to know that we have this. I personally hate the fact that nowadays so manufacturers are starting to implement uh, two SIM cards and at the same time uh, we have either the, the second SIM card basically or a micro SD card in the same tray and that is just that is just really annoying because it you lose resources. Why? And here we have the space issues I mentioned. Uh, now I'm using an 8 gigabytes uh, micro SD card. For me that's absolutely enough for this phone and uh, it's, it's working out very well but as you saw there isn't much space once you uh, once you have just the internal storage, it's just not gonna be enough for me. And here we have it, Android 5.1. So this is the truth, <laughs> the real thing inside. And uh, it's a very stock Android experience, so I really enjoyed that. You have a bunch of other functions like the wake gestures here which also work very well. I'm going to demonstrate some of them. You can, however, set up any of these to open your applications, which is just great, really. I love it when uh, when this is an option. And uh, I could choose just a random application here and uh, 
specific specifically do the motion that is uh, related to it let's say s wake here and uh, s health sorry s wake and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to turn off the screen of the phone i'm gonna double tap that as you can see wakes up the phone works just fine and then i'm gonna try uh, another one here we have the c which would open our camera if i'm not mistaken let's see yeah that's right the camera now I don't want to go into too much detail with the camera just yet, but we'll get there. Now the second thing is we have gestures, and the gestures are something that we've seen in other phones as well. I mean the previous function we've seen as well, but the gestures here uh, will essentially give us the possibility, for example here, to wave our hand and switch between pictures. And as you can see this works it works pretty well but it just works one way so if i make if i make the gesture in the other direction it's not gonna slide back so it's just going to go forward now that's not critical personally i don't really use this to begin with so this is not but it's a nice gimmick for some people it'll be awesome now we have action unlock there are different actions you can use which will have different effects on the phone now in this particular case i've set it up to unlock with just a swipe of the hand like this and you have to consider that this will not wake the phone it will just unlock it if it's already awake but it locked so you know consider that and here the interesting thing is uh we have these options up here and the bottom uh, uh the bottom left we have this button which looks like it would should show us all the applications but instead it's showing us the option so it is the it's the old-fashioned function we have to hold the middle button the the start menu button or whatever you want to call it uh, we have to hold that one and we see the applications i don't mind this at all by the way i really want to mention that we have very nice glowing buttons here uh, also that the touch sensitive ones are very nice now the camera and this is the weak spot of the phone if you ask me the camera of the phone has a lot of functions as you can see you can set up a lot of stuff on it but the pictures you can make with this camera are a very limited quality now they're mostly blurry and uh they're not really that good i i personally did not like this camera um i found that it takes the pictures fast enough it focuses okay but the result is always uh, blurry and the colors don't look really right now obviously they have to save somewhere and they decide to save on the camera here's an example of low light conditions this was actually quite dark uh, it is slightly blurry here during the day and if i turn on hdr in the next picture you'll see what it looks like so it always doesn't look pretty good to me I, I personally am not a fan of this camera now here we had the front facing camera this is with the beauty face it absolutely it uh, intentionally meshes up a little the things now you see it without the beauty face all in all the camera will work and you'll be able to do what needs to be done now I'm showing you here the notification light I actually really like the fact that it has one that Umi Rom scared me because it was a phone without a light and I'm pulling off uh, onto the benchmark here we see that we have over 24 thousand as a result I've said it many times I'll say it again over 24 thousand is enough for anything you want to do including gaming as you can see here I'm uh, browsing a little bit I'm going to be zooming in and out the phone does not feel sluggish it doesn't feel and I'm, I'm actually browsing snail and this is just this was not intention it just happened uh, but like I'm saying uh, this phone is working very well very good for browsing obviously call quality was excellent but nowadays that's I haven't had a phone in the hand where I would say oh man it sounded horrible so that's nothing special but I'm mentioning it nonetheless so for everyday tasks this phone will perform admirably there's nothing to worry about if you want to use this phone uh, in these aspects and even for gaming now when it comes to really really high profile games that have heavy graphics you're going to see that the frame rate is absolutely okay but it is not uh, the highest possible frame rate Personally, I did notice it here, you see it, it looks great and it's absolutely playable, but uh, it doesn't feel exactly as fluid as, for example, on the super fast mobile phones. But then let's talk about them costing 7-8 times as much and you're going to see where I'm coming from. And I mean, this is a very, very uh, heavy game uh, graphically. This Asphalt 8 is one of those heaviest ones. Usually I show several games. Here I just saw no point. We, we have the result, we see that it runs very well with this game, so pretty much everything else is gonna go okay as well. Of course, uh, those of you who really want to go on high-end gaming, uh, they're gonna manage to find something that is, uh, that is going to squeeze the juice out of this phone. But all in all, as an everyday phone, I think this is an excellent option and it's very cheap. The only thing you have to consider is uh, take care of the glass. It does not have Gorilla Glass, so buy some of the offered extras, uh, things like covers and stuff are really going to help you. At this point, I would like to thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you on the next one.
I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, vote it up. I'd be really grateful for that. Have a great day.